of the magician flicks the deck and finds the spectator's card. The cap goes through the bottle. The red card visually melts through the blue card. The four splits into two twos. The red deck changes into a blue deck. I'm also going to reveal the cleanest vanish ever created. The magician places the coin in his hand and tosses it into his other hand. And then the coin is gone. Hey, how's it going everybody? Oscar Owen here and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you some incredible magic tricks that anybody can do. I've made sure that these tricks are both visual and easy to perform so that you can start performing them right away. I'm going to show you the fastest way to locate a spectator's chosen card. This is the kind of move that looks like you've taken 10 years to learn it, when in reality it only takes 10 seconds to learn. The spectator chooses a card, in this case the Queen of Clubs. This is then cut into the deck fairly. The magician says he will find the spectator's card in a strange way. He takes his finger and flicks the deck. The next card down is the spectator's queen of clubs. This is a really easy effect you can do with any deck of cards. The first thing you need to do beforehand is prep one card and crimp it. To do this, place both thumbs in the middle of the card and move outwards, and this will bend the card in a diagonal position. Then do it down the di other diagonal, and you've created your crimped card. This puts a slight bend in the card, which will allow us to flick it later on. Now let the spectator choose any card that they like. In this case, the spectator has chosen the seven of diamonds. Place the seven on the top of the deck, and then you can let the spectator cut the cards in half, and then cut them in again, and this places our special card on top of the spectator's card. You can keep cutting the deck as many times as you want, it doesn't matter, and when you feel ready, all you're going to do is place the deck on the side like this, and then take your first finger and literally just flick upwards and it will catch the crimped card. So you flick up like that, you can see that the crimped card is the last one that was knocked over, so we know that the card underneath is the spectator's seven of diamonds. I'm going to teach you how to make money from nothing. The magician has a piece of paper and two empty hands. He shows the paper and then folds it up. He tips the paper and a coin magically appears. This is a great little opener for a set of coin tricks. Cut out two pieces of paper that are exactly the same size and then stick them to each other on all three sides, but leave the top side unstuck. Now simply place the coin inside the flap at the top and then makes a couple of folds like this, fold it into thirds and you're ready to begin. You can display the paper as one because it's stuck together, fold the paper up and then hold your hand out and dump out the coin. This is one of my favorite effects because it literally takes five seconds to learn, but is really visual and really powerful. The magician takes a deck of cards out of the box. He then rubs them under some cloth and nothing happens. He tries again and this time the entire deck turns blue. For this trick, you need a cloth, about six red cards, a blue deck, and a red box. Place the red cards on the bottom of the blue deck, but face down, so it looks like this. And then place this deck of cards inside the box. Open up the box, and as I open up the box, I don't just take them out like this, I deliberately skew some cards backwards, and it really sells the illusion that the entire deck of cards and the box, obviously, is red. Now take the cards, place them underneath the cloth, rub and reveal them, and obviously nothing has changed. Now what's going to happen is you're going to do the same thing, but when your hand is underneath the cloth, you're just going to flip the deck 
over. That's as simple as this trick is. So what you do is you take the cards, put them underneath the cloth, flip them, rub, and then when you show the cards again, all of them are blue. One of the reasons I love magic so much is because it's always teaching you something new. And if you're looking to learn new skills or improve on existing ones, then check out this week's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. For instance, I've been taking Jordi Vanderput's video editing in Premiere Pro class so that I can create better videos on YouTube for you guys. He's taught me how to color grade my videos to a more professional quality. And I really hope you've noticed that in the videos you've been watching on this channel. I'd also recommend Skillshare to anyone who's looking to create their own YouTube channel because there are loads of classes on how to both film and edit videos more professionally, which will help you stand out from other channels on YouTube. Furthermore, Skillshare has absolutely no adverts, so you can stay focused and learn much faster. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, so join Skillshare today and the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. Thanks again to Skillshare for making this video possible. The four splits into two cards. Hold two cards between your first finger, middle finger and thumb. Using your middle finger, pull the first card towards you in a snapping motion. Keep practicing this move until it's almost instantaneous. Make sure the card is angled towards the spectator's eyeline so they don't see the hidden card. Now add a third card. Pull the card that is closest to you away from the others and then perform the snap change on the remaining two. The next trick is hypervisual. The magician shows both hands empty. He takes the lid off the bottle and then pushes the lid inside the bottle. This trick requires a bottle that has a wrapper around it. Unpeel the wrapper and then what you want to do is cut a hole in the wrapper, as you can see here, that's big enough for the cap to fit through. Once you've done that, reseal the wrapper, but not as tight as it was beforehand. Leave it much looser. So you reseal it and move the wrapper, beforehand it was up here, move it slightly down as well. And what this means is a gap is created for the cap to go inside. Now from here, the rest of the trick is self-working. You can display the bottle as normal. No one will ever see the hole because it's covered by the wrapper and it looks completely normal. Then place the cap on your hand and tap once, twice. And then on the third tap, all you're doing is pushing the cap through the hole into the bottle. And then you can display that it's really in there. The magician has two playing cards. The red card cleanly melts straight through the blue card. This is an effect that I created a while ago and I recently saw another magician called Hondo performing a similar effect with a different method. So I'll teach you mine and leave a link in the description to his. Take two cards of the same colour and cut one of them three centimetres from the top. Keep the big bits that you just cut off. Then take another card and cut six centimetres from the top. Keep the small bits that you just cut off. Turn over the big bits that you just kept and then use some scissors to score down the back of the card half a centimetre below where you cut it. Then fold the card as shown. The two parts of the card are going to be stuck together with some thin plastic. You can cut this off a bottle or most people will have something lying around the house made from this plastic. Just cut off a strip of plastic about five centimeters long. Then place the cards like this and use some glue to stick the plastic onto the card. Now your gimmick will be able to create the illusion of a card passing through it. This usually works best on camera.
This is the cleanest vanish you'll ever see. The magician places a coin in his hand and tosses it into his other hand, and the coin is gone. This vanish completely fooled me when I first saw it. To begin, take some double-sided tape and put it on the back of the coin. You can then display this side of the coin very fairly and freely, and then place it onto your hand like so. What you then want to do is come over and literally act as if you're tossing the coin. The reason this is so convincing is there's no way that the coin should be able to stay on your hand, so you can just do that when in reality it stays here. Then, once your hand is this way round, use your thumb to simply pick, push off the coin so it's on the table. So the coin goes from here to here, and now it's on the table. Vanish the coin, and at the same time as you vanish it, just turn your hand over, hiding the coin underneath it. You can do this with people all around you because your hand is always so close to the coin.